You can use a telescope mirror to see different perspectives on certain aspects of cool demos that you can't normally see. This is called Schlieren Imaging, and in this short, I wanted to go over five cool demos involving fire. First, here's a matchstick striking a matchbox, and yes, I did briefly forget that fire was hot here, but I was fine and the shot looks great in slow motion, so it was well worth it. Next, hand sanitizer is pretty volatile, so I wanted to see if I could see that with this setup. Once I squirted some out onto a dish, I didn't see much. So I lit it on fire, and that looked pretty cool. Normally you can't see hand sanitizer in daylight, but Schlieren imaging isn't required to see it burning. You just need to turn off the lights, and the blue flame becomes quite obvious. It kept burning for several minutes, and I thought the final moments were the coolest, because it slowly died down, and then I love how everything went still so abruptly once the last bit was burned off. Next, here's a recent demo from the season 4 premiere of Two Truths and Trash, which is this flammable spray. I won't spoil that episode by giving you any more details, but it looks pretty cool. I like how you can see the flame outside of the mirror circle because of the light produced by the flame itself, and it gives you a reminder that the objects are just right in front of the camera a few feet away, despite it looking like it's on a projector or a microscope or something. I already briefly showed what both regular and long neck lighters look like when the butane's coming out and when the gas is ignited, but here's what a larger spaceship torch looks like. I was a bit surprised that just releasing the butane wasn't that visible because it seems like so much is coming out. However, once ignited, you can tell it's very hot and is pretty impressive. These torches are refillable, but sometimes it feels like some gas leaks, so I decided to test it out, and I definitely spilled quite a bit more than usual, but it made for a great shot. And here's the best part again in slow motion. I experimented with other compressed gases and liquids in the full video, so check that out if you're interested.